Hi, this is Edwin from GetNotes. This is a typical floor plan would look like in Revit. This is the third floor plan. And we can see that we have elements below the level, uh, below level three, like this root. It should be on second floor. And if we open the sides, we can actually see there are some elements like site plan, the planting, the parking lot, and also the roads. Some company actually want to show the site plan in the floor plan. So what, uh, maybe you know how to do that, already know how to do that by uh, defining the visibility graphic. I use a few template for this case so i can just change this uh, template so we have this uh, floor on level one some roof plan and also parking so how can we make uh, the elements thinner we can for elevation we actually can use depth queuing so element that far from our uh, section or uh, the elevation it can be shown uh, thin but unfortunately it's not available for floor plan so we need to do some work around okay let me just change this back to floor plan Okay, I want to use this. So, um, first I'm going to select all the elements. Then I going to remove this from the selection. Then I hide them temporarily by pressing H twice. Then I can change the. Uh, visibility graphic back to <coughs> is showing the sides so these are elements that I want to show as thin so I can select all the elements okay I need to add an identifier I'm going to use the comment field but just now it's not available because some elements don't have comment fields. So I need to remove them. For example, the curtain wall grids, model group, and also reveal opening. Opening. Okay, I think that that's all. Click OK. Okay. Now I can add the identifier here. You can use other fields like mark, but this time I'm going to use uh, the comments field okay I click OK and I can restore this back by pressing HR to restore the temporary height now that we already define the identifier I can define the view filter in my view templates this one and now I can define the new role based filter. I'm going to name this as set plan. So the elements that I want to show as thin is walls, topography, uh, planting, parking, and also the floors. And also roofs okay all these elements that has command equals to set plan should be in this filter so now i can actually use the filter after i define it this one set plan now we can have the uh, override button so i can override this one to color as gray 
then the weight to one so the thin as possible and then i click ok then i click ok again ok until all close now uh, i can see all the set plan thin but my actual third core level uh, is shown as usual as a so, uh, use following my object style standard so the good thing about using view template is now i can also use this one with second floor see of course uh, if you only use that only for particular view you can directly write the graphic and visibility graphic but in this example we use the uh, view template so that's how you can uh, try to make objects thin the part of object thins in your floor plan hope this will be useful thank you for watching